Cherokee 28, Romeo, Southwest departure, approved runway 17, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, runway 17, Southwest departure, 28, Romeo. Testing 00, zero Golf, taxi to parking via Alpha, then Bravo 3, monitor ground, point 8. Taxi via Alpha, then Bravo 3, monitor ground, zero, zero Golf. All right, rechecking directional gyro on the runway. That's looking good. Feet off the brakes, full power, smoothly applied. Engine instruments are in the green. Power's available for a takeoff. Airspin caters live, coming up on 50. 55, 60, 65, and 70. Slight back pressure on the control wheel. Off the ground. Climb out at 90. Right turn at at 1,000. Up to Coma Tower, Cherokee 4019 Romeo is outside of Sin on the ILS 17. Cherokee 4019 Romeo, to Coma Tower, continue approach. Continue approach, 19 Romeo. To Coma Tower, Skycatcher 60758. All right, everything's looking good. Power near looks fantastic. Skycatcher 97808, Coma Tower, Roger, hold short of the runway. And coming up on the edge of the Delta. Wow, it sure is pretty out there. Man alive, that's gorgeous. Amazing. Low-lying clouds kind of shroud. 28 Romeo, for exchange approved. 28 Romeo, roger, good day. Good day. Skylane uh, 97808. To come and tower, confirm you're ready for departure. Ready for departure, 97808. Skyline 808 West, departure approved, runway 17, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, runway 17, 97808. Okay, the time 2356 hours. This is Whiskey 7 November Yankee Aeronautical Mobile. And uh, we are 3,000 feet southwestbound, showing 106 over ground. Uh, destination airport is Chehalis, Kilo Charlie, Lima Sierra, if you wanted to look that up. Another way to track the airplane is to go on to flightaware.com, flightaware.com, and put in the following tail number. Stand by to copy. November 7, 4, 2, 8, Romeo. Repeat, November 7, 4, 2, 8, Romeo in flightaware.com and you'll be able to track my flight that way. Back to you. I am very familiar with that website, so uh, I'll go ahead and go over there and track it that way. And I'll pass it over to you, Alan. kb 3 cay and 7 line All right. Uh, thanks, Mark. Yeah, Bill, I got you loud and clear. Thank you, Tia. You had uh, copied that. Uh, you had to get direct into the, uh, the headset uh, so you're not recording. But I'm sure you'll, you'll mess with that more later. But you're sounding good there. KV3CAY, back to you. Okay, very good. W7NY Air Mobile. I'm going to make one more adjustment here. The uh, audio is really loud in the headset, so I'm going to go ahead on the radio here and reduce the volume into the headset. Standby. Okay, W7NY Air Mobile is back with you. So I am sending analog APRS so that you may be able to pick that up on APRS.FI. Of course, flight aware, I'll have my flight. You'll see me um, just coming up on Olympia. I'm gonna overfly Olympia Airport and uh, go directly over and then make a left turn out towards Chehalis. I'm gonna climb up to 3,500 here. W7NY, Air Mobile. All right, we copied all that there. Uh, Bill, do you copy uh, KB3CAY, over? KB3CAY, yep, got you in the logbook at uh, 0057. 0057, uh, and I got Keith in there, 0055. Actually, that was Mark, N7YMN. I'm going to pass it to Keith next. The first station was Mark.
N7 YMN. Copy N7 YMN. It's hard to keep that straight because when I look at the radio screen, it keeps showing Keith. So I don't know who's on at any given time. Back to you. Yeah, his call is November 7. Yankee Mike Mike. It's Yankee Mike. You still copy us, Bill? KB3CAY. Yep, I got you solid. W7NY Air Mobile. I was uh, pulling out my logbook, uh, starting to write down these call signs. I make sure that I upload them to QRZ. Plus, uh, I think I mentioned I am recording the audio into the radio, and I plan on uploading that to um, my iPad, so I'll be able to pull that in. I should be able to pull that into the video when I when I put it together. It's going to take a long time to put that one together, because the way this radio records the audio is... Each time I do a transmit, it's a separate audio clip. So I'm going to have a ton of audio clips to pull in. But uh, I'll make it happen. We'll make it work. Uh, back to whomever wants to pick it up from here. This is Whiskey 7, November Yankee Aeronautical Mobile. Current QTH is about um, 5 nautical miles northeast of Olympia Airport. 3,500 feet showing 108 over ground south westbound. W7 and my Air Mobile back with you. The uh, the open spots periodically disconnecting. If that happens and I'm unable to come back on, then the fallback's going to be TAC 311 Brandmeister. I'll try to hit it off of a repeater. Uh, everything is looking really good up here, man. It's beautiful. I can see um, Mount Rainier off my left wing, uh, Mount Adams, Mount St. Helens, and uh, all the way down to, well, I can't quite see Mount Hood, but... It is really, really beautiful up here right now. Uh, you'll see it in the video. W7NY Air Mobile. Break, 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 W7NY, break, break. Go ahead, Bill, we got you, K880. Yeah, I've been trying to get in there, but I'm not getting a gap between your transmissions. So, uh, yeah, the open spot disconnected. It's on for now. I'm going to stay on for now on the open spot. But if it fails again, I'm going to attack 311 Brandmeister. I'm going to work off a repeater. Uh, so uh, hopefully you copy me okay right now. I am um, 15 nautical miles from Chehalis Airport. That's where I'm going to be landing. And I heard you guys talking about my speed over ground. If I say 107 over ground, that's my speed over the ground. That's in miles per hour. Uh, so I'm showing 107 over ground. My altitude right now is 2,700 descending. And again, I'm 14 nautical miles from Chehalis. I'm going to go on with ATC here in about probably four or five minutes and make my announcements to the uh, CTAP. W7NY Air Mobile. Uh, you're sounding good. Go ahead, Alan. Okay, Bill. We'll all remember to keep a keep a gap there, hundred miles an hour. Okay. So when you say over ground, that means it's miles per hour. Got it. Uh, copy all that. You were sounding good there. Over. Copy all that. Uh, speed over ground. That's how fast the airplane's moving in relation to the ground. It can be expressed either in knots, which is 1.15 miles per hour per knot or it can be expressed in miles per hour. I'm expressing it in miles per hour, 108 over ground, because my airspeed indicator is calibrated in miles per hour. So anyway, just to clarify that, if I give a distance from destination, like right now, one, twelve, one two nautical miles from Chehalis Airport, so I'm 12 nautical miles from Chehalis Airport, it's 1.15 statute miles per nautical mile, just to put that in perspective. I'm descending right now. I'm going to switch over to ATC. I'm going to come back up on with you guys after I refuel on the ground down there. This is W7NY, Aeronautical Mobile. Uh, currently uh, seven nautical miles south of Olympia Airport, 2,400 descending. All right, Bill. We'll catch you after you uh, refuel down there. Uh, but that transmission was great. You're sounding good. KV3CAY. 
Okay, W7NY is going to be off and clear for now. We'll come back up in a few minutes here uh, after I refuel. I'll send you a text. Let you know when um, I'm getting ready to go back up. W7NY, Aaron okay, on the mobile. Traffic, helicopter Out. 3 2 Tango, turning base to final for the compass throws east of 1 6. Okay. Helicopter will be east of 1 6 at all times. Shayla's traffic. Shayla's traffic, Cherokee 742 at Romeo 7 to the north. We're maneuvering for the 45 left down wind 3 4. Full stop. Shayla's. Shayla's traffic, Cherokee 742. Full stop. Western Air. Shea is traffic, Cherokee 2 Air Romeo is on the 45 for left downwind 3-4, planning full stop, Shea Helis. Celsius, altimeter 3 Shea traffic, Cherokee 2 Air Romeo is turning final, runway 3-4, full stop, Shea Helis. Shayless traffic, Sky 24144, clear off active runway, Shayless traffic. Shayless traffic, 540, sub 3, left downwind for runway 34, low approach, And that about wraps it up for today's flight into Chehalis, Washington today as we tested our Anytone 878 digital DMR radio interface with the intercom system in the airplane. Uh, still a few bugs to work out, but we did get to test the record feature in the radio and uh, we're going to upload that into our YouTube video and see how that works. Thanks for joining me and I look forward to seeing you again on next flight. <laughs>